chest knee flexion and more specifically the biceps femoris, the patient is laying prone with their lower extremities extended. Stabilize over the posterior aspect of the pelvis and with the other hand palpate the biceps femoris on the lateral aspect of the posterior thigh. To instruct the patient on the desired movement, flex the patient's knee to 90 degrees and rotate the knee laterally. Go ahead and return to starting position. Then the patient flexes the knee to 90 while rotating the knee laterally and the examiner stabilizes the pelvis and palpates for contraction. Now apply resistance over the posterior aspect of the distal leg in the direction of knee extension. And these are done for grades five through three. To test semitendinosis and semimembranosis, the patient is laying prone and lower extremities are extended. Stabilize over the posterior aspect of the pelvis with the opposite hand, um, palpating on the medial hamstrings over the medial aspect of the posterior thigh. While instructing the patient to move in the desired motion, flex the patient's knee to 90 degrees and the knee is rotated medially. Then return the limb to the starting position. And then while stabilizing at the posterior pelvis and um, palpating for contraction, have the patient perform the action more uh, actively. Then apply resistance over the posterior aspect of distal leg in the direction of knee extension. And this is performed for grades 5 to th through 3 for semitendinosis and semimembranosis. To test knee flexion for grades below 3 for biceps femoris, semitendinosis, and semimembranosis, the patient is laying on their side on the side to be tested and their knee and hip is extended. You can use a cloth below their legs so that uh, there is decreased friction. Then you stand directly in front of the patient's pelvis to stabilize with your trunk and you support their top leg with your one hand while palpating the hamstring muscles with the other. Then passively flex the patient's knee through full range of motion and return it to the starting position. Instruct the patient to actively perform the motion while palpating for the muscles.